chances are we all have our ritual when it comes to purchasing our lottery tickets. It might be wearing our lucky socks or maybe it's rubbing it on our head or giving it a big kiss. Regardless of what it is, tonight we are giving you real tips that you can start applying today that will increase your chance of winning. As a multi-winner of the South Carolina Education Lottery, Josh Wesneski is a believer. Once you see a nice little chunk of change on there, is it addictive a little bit? Oh yeah, yeah definitely addictive, a little right? bit. Yeah, oh definitely. <laughs> the day he'll never forget: Super Bowl 44, the Saints versus the Colts. Halftime, we were bored, so all the guys were like, "Hey, let everybody throw in like 10, 20 bucks, and we'll get some, some scratch offs." The first round wasn't necessarily impressive, but then my one buddy was uh, scratching, and all of a sudden he got real quiet. We checked it for like 10 minutes. <laughs> we finally realized, like, yeah, we definitely just hit 100 grand. The feeling was crazy. Josh and his buddies were so blinded by the winning light, they didn't even realize who won the Super Bowl until the next day. They divvied up the $100,000 pot, offering a very welcome fresh start. We weren't broke or anything, but, you know, we could all use a little bit to help us out. I put a little money in my daughter's uh, savings account in her college fund. We paid off some credit cards and then just sat on, you know, just have some savings and some backup just in case there was an emergency. <laughs> Well, we all know the chances are not exactly in our favor, but that doesn't stop us from daydreaming about being that big, big winner. Even though our odds are about one in 175 million, to kind of break that number down just a little bit more for you, you actually have a better chance of being killed by a shark, being hit by an asteroid or a comet before actually being a big winner. But regardless, we're trying out our luck today. So let's talk strategy. Taking a look at local numbers requested from the South Carolina Education Lottery, you have a better chance of winning with scratch-offs. I feel lucky. Since 2009, we've had 170 winners in seven counties. Of those winners, 127 of them were from scratch-offs. The only catch, scratch-offs typically are smaller jackpots than Powerball or Mega Millions. Also, the data I poured through shows you have a drastically higher chance of winning in Horry County, followed by Florence and then Darlington County. As for that top station that keeps on handing out the golden tickets, it's here at the Coward Truck Stop. How you doing? Four big prizes of more than 50 grand have been sold here over the last four years. With that kind of record on the line, I started scratching. And three tickets later... You are not going to believe this. I literally just won $100. $100! Now let's talk about the Powerball. The most frequently drawn numbers are 29, 20, 33, and 2. But your lucky numbers may not be the way to go. You see, Powerball stats show about 70 to 80% of all winners are actually from quick picks. If you're trying your luck with Mega Millions, 48, 36, and 2 are the ones to bet on. And with my first scratch-off win under my belt. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I don't think I've ever held $100 before in my life. I now understand Josh's crazy scratch-off ritual. We all like to put him up, give us like a, uh, a scratch-off high five with him <laughs> before we start scratching. That's basically our little thing. And one last tip from the guy who's figured it all out. Go to the prizes remaining tab of South Carolina's Lotto website. It shows you how many winning tickets are still out in circulation statewide and how much money is still on the line. Josh's rule, play the scratch-offs with the highest number of winning tickets still floating around. And another tip, make sure that you are asking which ones actually have the second chance promotions. They're clearly marked on the back of these cards. Basically what it means is that even if you don't win big, you still have a chance to win something. Josh has won everything from gift cards, prize promotions. Uh, he even had a once in a lifetime trip to the Daytona 500, all expense paid trip with all of his buddies. He even had Paul McCartney's old tour bus to use for the entire week. Week. Reporting tonight in Coward, I'm Heather Byance for WMBF News.